Since the beginning of this tutorial, our application has been so boring. In this video, we will start styling the application. But before that, there is something called static files. And these are files that are not part of the core Django application. So they are normally files that are hosted outside your Django hosting platform. This includes the CSS, images, and all those file uploads that you have in your application. So to make things simple, we're going to host all static files within our development environment. If you're not yet a subscriber, please click on the subscribe button so that you don't miss videos like this. So now the first step is to create a folder in your Django application. All right. So when I go to Sublime in the application, I'm going to right click and create new folder. OK, I'm going to call this folder static. OK, so in the static files, I'm going to create three extra folders. CSS folder, the images folder, and also the JavaScript folder. All right. So I'm going to right click static and then new folder again. I'm going to call this one CSS. All right. So I'm going to expand the static so that I can see the CSS. I'm going to add another folder, right click static and uh, new folder JS and press enter. Right click again and this time IMG and press enter. So inside the static folder, we have the CSS, the IMG and the JS. In the CSS is where we're going to save all our style sheets. OK, so images will all be sitting in the IMG folder, right? And then the JavaScript files will be in the JS folder. So in this video, I want to add a style sheet to our application. So I'm going to go to the CSS folder and right click and then select new file. And I'm going to save this file as stylesheet.css.css .css. All right. So in the stylesheet.css is where I'm going to type all our styling of the application. So on the blog side, I have a sample CSS code that I'm going to copy and paste. So with this one, we're going to give a background color to our body. And this will be kind of a light green. So I'm going to copy this and paste it right here in the CSS folder. I'm going to indent that a bit and save it. So we've added the color to the CSS. But if I go to the application and then click refresh, nothing has changed. OK, I'm going to go to the home page and refresh again. Nothing has changed. So now this alone is not enough. OK, so remember with HTML, you have to add the CSS file in the template so that it will be rendered on the browser. So now on the home page, I'm going to open the home page and within the header, I'm going to add the CSS styling right here. OK, so I already have the code typed, so I can just copy and paste it right here. I'm going to copy this one and paste it right here. This is not a regular CSS syntax that we are used to in HTML. So now we have a keyword here static. So this is a Django specific keyword. OK. So now this is what is going to take our CSS files and then make them available on the browser. But before we can use this keyword, like if I click on save and then refresh my browser, I'm going to have an error. Template syntax error at invalid block tag on line three. And right down here, you can see where the error is. OK, our browser is kind of confused or the application is kind of confused. It doesn't know what is static. So it's giving us error. We have to load a static tag on top of the HTML document. All right. It has to be on top. OK, so now heading back to the blog site, I'm going to copy this load static files. Just copy it and paste it above here. Save it. OK, and then refresh the application again. All right. So we can see this time there was no error. All right. But sometimes in your browser, it will not load the CSS file. What you can do is to hold down the control keyboard and click refresh. If you hold on control and click refresh and nothing happened. All right. Sometimes what happened is in a development environment, it will still fail to load the CSS files. But this is very rare. When this happened, try to look at the console messages of the development environment. I can see static slash CSS slash styles dot CSS has an 404 error. So this means the application is not able to load in. So what I would do in this case is to stop the development environment by pressing control C and then run it again. 
now what I'll do is I'm gonna right click and then always on top and I'm gonna try to refresh again okay so you can see it did load the CSS all right I've seen this kind of error which is very rare so if that did not fix your error make sure you look at how you spell the style sheet and also make sure that you um, have some styling in the CSS and then you should be good okay so I'm gonna do the styling on the rest of the page so I have two more pages to style I'm gonna copy this code and paste it in list items right there in the header and then add load static files save it confirm that the CSS is loading fine list items right so this is good we have one more page I'm gonna go to add items paste the code right here and then load the static files save it and then test to see that it is okay all right so we have the CSS loaded on all the three pages the home page the list item page and also the add items page so if you enjoyed this video please give us a thumbs up if you have any questions you can put them in the comments below otherwise see you in the next video